Hello? Hi, is this Kevin? Uh, yeah, this is him. Kevin, how are you? This is Dave Tebow. I'm the motivational speaker that's booked to speak to your students tomorrow. Oh, great. Yes, thank you so much. I didn't know you were going to get a hold of me personally, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy you're getting to be coming to talk to our kids this week. Well, thank you. I always like to check in, so I thought I'd give you a call. You know, I've done a lot of these types of gigs where I speak to students and sure. try to help get them motivated. So maybe you can tell me what you're looking for. You know, these kids, they're middle school, they're almost teenagers. I don't know if you have life experience, maybe some stories to tell or something to get these kids motivated and focused, you know? Oh, I, I definitely do. Listen, I've got a lot of stories and a lot of information that they need to know, and it will also grab their attention. That sounds great. Do you have any specific topics that you bring up? or? Well, I'd really like to inform them about the weather. Uh, okay, the weather. Uh, anything specific you want to emphasize? Are you... Oh, yes. Yes, the specifics of how the presidents control the weather. Nobody's talking about that. Talking about the president controlling the weather. Yes, the presidents control the weather and nobody is saying anything. Is that, is that something? It's something that I know is true. If you watch any president speak, if they look to the right too much, it rains the next day. If they look to the left too much, it gets sunny the next day. They're sending messages. Okay, I see what's going on. You're, you're joking with me. No, are you joking with me? You're an educator. You should know this. I have never in my life heard anyone make this claim before, so... Well, it is true, just like Hitler's true. Uh, uh, what do you mean Hitler's true? Well, he's still alive, but you already knew that. I did not know that Hitler was alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's alive and doing very well. He lives on a houseboat in San Diego, and I've got the pictures to prove it. So you personally have the pictures yes i do i was on vacation in san diego a while ago and i snapped some photos of him i can send them to your email if you'd like to see them i don't think the pictures are going to be necessary when the school booked you um well, well when they booked me they really booked me because of my jay-z knowledge they thought that would connect with the kids so you're, you mean like jay-z the, the performer the rapper yes not many people know this but he is actually a traveling vampire a tr a tr a tr what? Yes, this whole Illuminati thing, it's true. Jay-Z, no, no, Oprah, and true. Guy Fieri. It's not true. It's not true. This is all stuff that you have made up in your head. This is all conspiracy theories. Oh, no, you're a rounder, aren't you? I'm talking to a rounder. A rounder? What's a rounder? Oh, it's one of those idiots that thinks that the Earth is round and not flat. The Earth is round, sir. Oh, sure. Sure, you're going to tell me that. Next thing you're going to tell me is that Bigfoot doesn't work at the men's warehouse. Bigfoot does not work at the men's warehouse. He doesn't even exist. Bigfoot does too exist, and the other day he put me in a very fashionable suit, I'll have you know. You are a crazy, insane person, and I do not want you coming to my school and putting this in my kid's head. You know what else isn't real? This phone call. I'm sure you'd like me to believe that. What, did aliens set you up for this? No, actually, your coworker Brian set you up, because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Wait, what are you talking about? This is a joke. Your friend Brian set you up. He told me you had a motivational speaker booked for your class, and you didn't have much background on him yet, so I wanted to mess with you. Wait, Brian did what? He set you up for a prank phone call. I'm not actually a motivational speaker. Oh, <laughs> Are you... Oh, my... My name is Jubal, and I host a radio show called Brook and Jubal in the morning. <laughs> I'm far from a motivational speaker, but I do believe all of those things. I'm sure you do, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs>